Hi everyone, it's Rio Cloud Sync. In today's session, we're going to touch base with a couple of updates Microsoft have provided within the last couple of weeks. One of which is the naming convention, moving from legacy Azure AD to Microsoft Entra. If we were to select search resources, we can see that Azure AD identity protection has now transitioned to Microsoft Entra ID protection. We can also see that the conditional access service has now changed to Microsoft Entra conditional access. However, some of the old legacy services are still named the old legacy naming convention. Microsoft are working through the transition from the legacy name to the new and improved naming conventions. I will reference a Microsoft doc within my description in terms of the time scales for doing so. If we were to navigate to identity and select uh, protection, and then navigate to identity protection, with that, it will take you to the identity protection dashboard, which is currently in public preview no timescales as of yet uh, to transition from public preview to GA. However, this dashboard gives you a clear oversight in terms of your organizational security posture, i.e. the number of tax blocks, by the use of user risk and signer risk policies, number of users protected, so the overall coverage of those uh, policies used deployed, okay? The mean time to remediate user risk and number of high risk users. This gives you an indicative on how secure your organization is alongside the security, the secure skill capabilities Microsoft already provides. The third update is un listed under settings, which allows on-premise password change to reset user risk. This has only been announced in the last couple of days. However, I think this is a very good um, feature um, in terms of uh, Microsoft allowing users who um, are currently in a hybrid configuration and their source of authority is on-premise Active Directory domain services to be able to reset the password on-premise and allow that to remediate the, the user risk or the risk associated to your identities. Um, it's just a tick box exercise. So all you would do is, is, is select the tick box and then click save. You then have the options on-prem to reset the password and remediate the risk. There's no documentation um, in relation to this uh, feature as of yet. As I said, this has only been around for the past couple of days. But other than that, that's my quick fire updates for you today. Um, any questions, just please do let me know. Thank you.